Okay, in this video, um, well in a previous video, I did a battle on a custom map called uh, Plains of Gaul. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom maps. Um, I say custom maps, it's more really taking maps from the campaign battle map and putting it into multiplayer uh, battles. So hopefully after this video you'll know how to do this. So the first thing to do is you need to go and create a shortcut to roam to war. So you want to create a shortcut like this and you have to right click, go down to properties and type in enable editor right there. So it's just after the comma with the exclamation mark, leave a space dash enable under slash editor. So that's important. When you do that, you enable um, the editor mode in Rome Total War, and I'll cover how to use this later in this video to choose the actual locations of the of the battle maps. So what you want to do now is you want to double click on the icon and go into Rome Total War and then use the battle editor and find out um, what areas of the map, of the campaign map, you want to use for your own custom map. So you would go into Rome Total War and you would find out the coordinates of the map that you want. After you do that, you get those coordinates and you have to go into your Rome Total War files and add them in. So I'm running Windows 8. Um, it might be different for Windows um, 7 or Vista. But the way you do, you do this is you go into Program Files 86. You go down to Creative Assembly. Rome Total War and then data. You come across a file called custom locations and basically basically this is um, all the multiplayer maps are kept in this fi uh, file and you can see for example British Grassland location 12396 that location correlates to where that particular piece of land is on the campaign map. So you should have your own coordinates from using the battle editor and you type uh, those coordinates into this section. So for example my own custom maps for example um, COH Battlefield I've got a location of 11 and 129 so what you do is you just copy for example, ancient Scot Scottish woodland, paste it further down and change the coordinates. Um, you've got other features here, um, settlement locked. Um, that's basically to, if you want to be able to have a castle on that map or some sort of settlement, you would click yes there. Summer, can you play? Um, this map in the winter time and summer and you've got an image file there so you can change the actual image of the map and how it's displayed in the multiplayer lobby um, this is really personal preference it's basically um, you go you would if you wanted to change that um, uh, image you go back to um, the menu folder and these are all your pictures here. So you'd literally change that and link it back to the, the custom locations. So once you've done that, um, you would close it down and save it. Or if that doesn't work, you can copy that file somewhere else, change, alter it, bring it back, and then replace the old file with your new maps. 
okay that shows you how to use um the actual locations and changing the data files i'll now show you how to um use the battle editor so we're basically loading up Rome Total War using the shortcut we created and we've enabled the battle editor. So basically we're going to sit back and enjoy the, the intro to Rome Total War. Right, we've all seen it before so we're going to skip this part. Right, so we're going to use the battle editor to find out where we want our multiplayer maps to be held. Um, I've always found flatter maps are the best for multiplayer. However, you could easily have any sort of land terrain you want, provided you've played it in the campaign map. So, what to do is you want to be able to edit ed be able to use the editor. So you go to options and I'm running version 1.5 so battle editor and you'll get a message that says um, basically don't contact uh, Crave Assembly if you have problems using battle editor because it was never really part of the game it's just something that Activision or Create Assembly used to create their videos the trailer and basically an extra feature. Um, a, a lot of people that make um, movies, Rome to War, use this feature as well. And I could do a demonstration on how to create a Rome to War uh, video using Battle Editor. But right now we're going to concentrate using the Battle Editor to find the multiplayer maps. So you have Battle Editor here, and essentially. You can have a battle anywhere on the campaign map. So, for example, if you're in the campaign and you fought against Germania, you could click there. Perhaps you fought a battle there. Here you have 91-131. And you'd put those coordinates into the data file I showed you earlier in this video. So... You can he see here um, height 414, uh, 410, oh, can't read probably 401 meters. Uh, give you a brief demonstration, brief, a brief uh, description of the climate of the terrain, um, description of um, what kind of uh, landscape it is. It's forest sparse, coastal no, volcano no, river no. So essentially, it's typical Germania land, um, quite flat trees everywhere, um, quite a level playing field. However, if you to click on Rome, you see height um, five, uh, 2470. So you know that's quite a, quite a hilly area. You can see the, the height changes drastically, 147 goes to 1000 meters. So right, we're clicking one of these. So you can see here, um, say for example we wanted this map, it's 136116. Go into Battle Editor. And this is just loading up the, uh, the map. And now we can find out if this is the map that we want for our battle. Use the arrow buttons. To move around and you can use the mouse scroll oh in all honesty this is quite a good map um slightly hilly um it would mean one side had a bit of a bit of an advantage of the other side however it's not too hilly and you could easily for example impose some sort of denarii restriction on multiplayer map you can use the plus and minus buttons to move around. And this this map shows you um, the biggest map there is. For example, if you played a 4 versus 4 battle, this would be the entire map. 
So what we do is like we like this map. Edit battle details. X136116. And all you need to do is type those coordinates into the data file that I showed you. And then save it. And then you can play this map in multiplayer. And it's that simple. There is a way to um, make your own um, historic battles using this um, process. I haven't actually spent the time to do this. Um, I've never really had um, the inclination to do that. However, I've been told that a 300 inspired Thermopylae battle would be uh, pretty cool. So perhaps I can maybe work on that for a historic battle. That'd be interesting. So I hope this video helped you. Um, that's essentially how you would create an online battle using a custom map. So one three six one one six. Okay, so we're now going to reopen. Custom locations, and here I've actually saved the file and altered it. What I would do now is I would change, for example, I've got a map, Land of the Picks. If I wanted to use that custom map that I showed you previously, we went into the bow editor, we type in 116136, we would then save that. So save that, and then go back into Rome Total War data files, data, and then you would basically put that custom locations back into this folder, and then it would say replace, and you'd replace it. Then you can play any map you want from the campaign map as a multiplayer battle, and it's as easy as that. So thanks for watching, hopefully this has helped you out a little bit, and thanks again.